Welcome guys into today's video and we are going to be talking about the food I've been eating high protein food I've been eating to increase my muscle mass as you've known I'm on a journey to rebuilding my body to become more fit and more healthy so yeah I'll be going through the food I've been eating. I have about 13 foods that I've been eating that has high protein in them so that I try to build some muscle mass. So without any delays, let's get into the food that you can eat to also try and, and build your, your muscles uh, if you are a gym fanatic like me. My, the first food that I've been eating, which uh, everyone can afford, is eggs. I've been eating a lot of these. Uh, I've been eating two per day. Each large egg is about 50 grams and provides about 6 to 7 grams of protein. Mostly I boil, I boil this, but you can, you can fry them. You can you can scramble them you can do whatever on yeah with them it depends how you like them but I usually boil them for like 10 minutes and then they are ripe in 10 minutes and then yeah I eat them with bread and some uh, I put some avo avocados in there so yeah that's the first food you can eat to increase your muscles and to increase your protein intake the next food is almonds uh, those are these almonds uh, it's raw almonds it's like nuts a special kind of nuts these are very very expensive though so if you can't afford them there's an alternative maybe try eating peanut butter instead of buying these but I enjoy them like they are 100 gram and they cost a lot <laughs> anyway you can get them at any uh, shopping retail food retail uh, each 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 28 gram of almonds contains or can provide you with 6 gram of protein I love this and then our next food our third food is going to be chicken breasts you can get those from any retail chicken breasts are also a good protein provider each each breast is usually about 86 gram and provides about 26 to 7 grams of protein and the next food which is uh, cottage cheese this is cottage cheese i usually spread it on my bread the back uh, if i'm having like two slices on both slices I'll, I'll, I'll spread this cottage cheese a one cup which is this cup actually this is 250 gram but 226 gram can give you about 28 grams of protein so yeah this is cottage cheese and then another food our next food which is our fifth food you can try to eat its Greek yogurt you can get it at any store any grocery store 200 gram of Greek yogurt contains or can provide you with about 20 grams of protein food number six is going to be your milk milk I drink maybe a glass of milk a day or sometimes I just use it to make some oat I just pour it in some oat uh, 20 let's see 264 246 mils of of, of milk 
can provide you with eight grams of protein. This is one liter, which means you times that by four. So in this container, I have about 16, 32, 32 grams of protein in this milk. Uh, food number seven, we have lean beef. I didn't take it out of the fridge because it, it was going to mess up my, my table. Uh, a steak, maybe like 85 gram of steak of lean beef can provide you about 24 grams of protein. If you think maybe beef is a bit expensive these days, so you can move on to maybe uh, food number eight, you can substitute it with fish. Uh, fish has a lot of protein and usually fish is, is much cheaper than beef so you can try like salmon uh, salmon fish or any other fish that has proteins anything that is fishy <laughs> has high proteins and then we move on to food number nine which is uh, Ezekiel bread this is a Zekel bread. It has about a whole grain in it. There are whole grain on, on, on this bread and other ingredients that, that provides high protein. This is a, a loaf of bread, like one slice. One slice is usually 50 gram. I eat about four slices per day on this bread which makes it about 200 grand of bread that I take in each slice can give you about six grams of protein which means by just eating four slices I already take about 24 grams of protein daily not counting the eggs that I eat it with and also spreading some cottage cheese in it and yeah and sometimes i throw in some avocados and food number 10 as i've said it's peanuts you can eat peanuts these are other kind of peanuts or you can get peanut butter also yeah peanut butter has a lot of proteins you can start eating that and then we move on to food number 11 food number 11 it's oat as you can see it's written oat i usually eat this in the morning every day in the morning i eat a bowl of oat that offers about because one cup is is usually like 81 gram and in that 81 gram or a bowl I usually get about 10.7 gram of uh, protein so yeah those are a lot of proteins and then we move to food number 12 I think it's avocados where are my avocados here here are my avocados I've been eating this every day because it's their season and we happen to have a tree in the yard so yeah I just go cut them put them in the place where they'll be ripe and I always have like half a slice in most instances or if I'm in the mood I just eat uh, the whole avocado one avocado is usually 230 gram so if I eat one avocado, that's about five gram of protein. So you see. And then another food, I also eat one potato, boiled potato per day. That also has some starch in it and starch has a lot of protein in it. So yeah, I also eat one potato per day. So you can see it's a lot of proteins that I'm eating in a day. And then we are on to food number 14, 
is it 14 or 13 i'm not even sure there's a lot of food i've been going through food number 14 is bacon i i try to make a sandwich using this bacon it's it's also uh, pork it falls in the category of pork pork has a lot of proteins but i usually prefer bacon it's even written high protein so i also eat pork that's basically my diet for for the past couple of days i usually in the morning i eat oat a bowl of oat and then at about maybe mm, 12 uh, or 1 i make a sandwich with bread and then i spread some cottage cheese and then i slice some some egg boiled eggs on the sandwich and then if maybe i want to make a hectic sandwich i put in some avocados and then i just put that together and then put it in a plan in in a pan in a hot pan and just make a toast and then i drink maybe some milk or if i don't feel like drinking milk i have some orange juice in the fridge I drink some orange juice and then in the afternoon I maybe make some fish or make some breast chicken breast or I make some lean beef for supper and then I usually do some snacks in between which I eat almonds almond nuts raw almond nuts so yeah that's how I am building my muscle mass. We'll see down the line maybe in about end of the year how will my body be looking. So stay tuned. I'm looking forward to the transformation. You can also buy this stuff from your grocery if you want to, to build body mass and you want some high protein food. Anyway, thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, please do not forget to hit that like button, subscribe and turn on the notification. Until our next videos or video, peace, I'm out.